little tree in the water jug. Hello, friends. Welcome back. So tomorrow, um, David and I are going to go on a road trip to Saldana, Alaska, which is uh, 191 miles away from our home and um, and it will be about this cold now my now my car says minus one um, the high for Saturday is 10 degrees and then Sunday is minus nine and so I think that we're, we're going down there for a meeting that's approximately two hours and then um, I think we're gonna try to stay the night there if we can find an Airbnb that's reasonable and warm. <laughs> and um, so we, you know, we have a very reliable car, so we're not really concerned about um, getting stuck anywhere or anything. And there are places we have to go up into the pass and over the pass, and then down into um, down into the peninsula into, uh, into Seward or Saldana. And um, so there is some different areas where there, where it'll be colder and there's places where there'll be a lot more snow and things like that. But we're pretty confident in our car and I'm very confident in David's driving and, um, and mine as well. But he'll probably be doing most of the driving. We, we always, you know, when we go on longer road trips, we'll have food in the car with us. We'll have drinks with us. Um, and we have, we both have a phone and we tell people where we're going so we don't find it necessary to, um, to bring lots of extra things with us to prepare for, you know, just in cases we're not just in cases people. Um, we're pretty minimalist and pretty basic, simple people. So, you know. If we run into trouble, there's always people. That road, you know, people drive that road a lot and we're not afraid to ask for help. And there's, you know, people are very willing to help. There's always truckers running up, running the highways and they can definitely, you know, definitely get help for you. And there's, I mean, there are truckers running every highway um, in the state and they will, you know, they will stop and help you if they see you out there needing help. So we're not, we're not going to be stranded. Um, there are some remote places where you will not see truckers, but where we're going, this is a major road. We're, we're doing a, a winter road trip in Alaska. And as long as you have a reliable vehicle and you know your surroundings and you know where you're going, I think, I mean, things can happen, but I don't know. We just have a lot of faith in the Lord that he would keep us safe. Um, so, like I said, we're not taking any extra gear except for our usual, which I would wear my hat and my gloves and my boots anywhere I went, probably um, around the state, like what I'm doing now. I'm wearing all my things because it's cold outside and, and the temperature you know it is cold out but I think we're smart enough um, to know what and what not to do when if we had an emergency um, as far as if the, if the car died uh, if we had an accident um, we have emergency you know, there's truckers, there's passing cars, uh, they, uh, these major highways, they actually, uh, you know, if you're far away from town, they don't send out the ambulance, you know, if you're in, you know, they will send out a helicopter to pick you up if, if that's the case. So, just saying, we're going on a long distance trip, and we're just going to go and enjoy it. And we're not going to spend a lot of money because we're pretty basic. We're going to find a cheap B&B to stay in and stay the night and drive back the next day. And we are taking our own meals and 
maybe we'll show you. Maybe we'll show you the B and B. Maybe we'll show you. Uh, we'll we'll probably show you the the road down there in different spots or any any really cool scenery. Um, maybe we'll show you what we eat while we're away on this trip. Um, yeah. So and then Sunday morning. Um, Sunday morning, the plan is to uh, go to church in Soldatna. We really enjoy um, going to church in other towns. It's, I don't know, it's just something we really like. It's kind of cool to just go, you know, anytime we're on a vacation or anytime we go to another town to visit, we always find a church to go to. Um, and, you know, we just love these tiny, small town uh, little churches. And so, and the people are always so nice, and it's just nice to meet new people. And so, that's the plan. So, tomorrow morning, uh, we'll get in the car, and we'll, we'll get on the road and start our trip. And we will see you then. So, a little update. David did find a um, Airbnb that, um, it's like $140 for the night, something like that. Um, but it's dog friendly, so Maddie can go with us. And, um, it, you know, a hotel would be cheaper, but we want to take Maddie with us. And um, so that's the plan so far. So, yeah, come along with us on this little road trip. We like going, we like just going on adventures sometimes and just going to other little towns. So.
we made it to our destination yesterday and we went to our meeting that we had we had come down here for and then we came and stayed at this wonderful airbnb here in where are we sterling in sterling alaska we're packing up getting ready to go getting ready to go to church going to church in Nikiski, which is Nikiski Church in the Nazarene. A couple towns over or cities over, whatever yeah. they call them here. Yeah. And uh, anyway, I'm going to show you around the wonderful Airbnb. So this is a shared Airbnb. There's rooms upstairs, downstairs, and then around the way is some shared area. And then the owner, I believe, actually lives in the house too, correct? Yes. So I think she mostly has her space upstairs and then that shared area. So we have this beautiful area, which we didn't really take advantage of because it was just way too much room for us. We were overwhelmed. No, we did play a game. We checked out the games and we played backgammon. That was fun. We did look through all the books because I'm a book hound. A lot of good books in there. And then this, this is wonderful. This is our big bathroom that we got this bathroom as soon as I saw it I was like oh it's bigger than our house and then I took a long luxurious jet tub bath with running hot water oh it was so amazing so so you gotta tell me what was it like staying in a place with running water <laughs> it was great because okay we're on a fluid uh fast for 21 days and look I didn't have to go outside to go to the bathroom I got up like three times and just walked down the hall and went to the potty. It's amazing. Yeah. When you live humbly, this is like a castle. Yeah. Appreciate the little. Things. You appreciate it so much more. But, and then. But I still love our dry cabin lifestyle. I do. We um, choose it. We love it. Yes. That that makes this so much better. Yeah. So then we have this spacious room here. Nice comfy bed. We didn't really use any of the space. We didn't really bring much. I forgot to mention something. What did I forget to mention? The best thing about this B&B, we have to bring Maddie with us. Yes, it's, it was dog approved. So Maddie got to come with us. Yeah. She loved it. And then our shared area. I'm not sure if we were supposed to, but we cut through here because the dog would stay right here and she wouldn't go any further. And so she could hear us and I don't know. Anyway, this was our shared area. And here at this tables where we played backgammon last night. And I'm sure it's very pretty outside, but it's really cold. It's below zero, so we didn't really look around outside much. I have coffee and there's things available, which we're on a fluid diet, so, and we don't have, we don't drink regular coffee, so we brought our own. So we just used a pot and a couple cups. So we've been on a um, liquid fast with our church and for, um, for a purpose. And so we're doing a prayer and fasting for 21 days and it's fluids only. So we've been drinking broth, chicken broth, uh, beef broth, onion broth, mushroom broth, um, all the broths. And we're also at the same time as um, we're staying keto. So that's difficult, um, making sure that we get what we need in a day for a day. So we just packed all our broths with us and brought them with us. And I'm actually getting ready to load up this. It's got, um, it's got some mushroom broth in there and I'm going to load up my cup and keep it nice and hot for lunch. So yeah, we're getting ready to leave. And this was a beautiful, beautiful place to stay. And it was great that we could have our dog because last year we came down and stayed and we had to leave our dog um, with someone because she wasn't allowed in the in the Airbnb. And so it's really nice to have a place where you can bring your dog. 
because she's part of the family and we can't leave her at home. As you know, we only have wood heat and the fire's long gone out by now. So we'll talk about that a little bit later and we'll show you what things look like when we go home because it's just around zero or below and it's probably some things froze up in there, but it's okay. Um, yeah. Beautiful morning in Sterling, Alaska. How far is Nikiski from Sterling? Oh, about 25 miles. The wrong way. The wrong way. That's okay. <laughs> I can back to the, get home. It's, uh, I've been wanting to go back there. It's the location of the uh, Nikiski bike blessing we did last spring. And uh, it was a nice church. I wanted to go back there and, and actually bring you there. Uh, you weren't there with me last time. Mm -hmm. You didn't want to ride through the snowstorm. I didn't. <laughs> and drove, rode a motorcycle through a blizzard. And then back through it the next day. No, I'm. I, I may have been lived in Alaska my whole life, but that doesn't mean I really. I, I don't like to be cold. I think it's because I've been cold so much in my life, and not been able to do anything about it. Living in a in a wood heat only home with the fire going out all the time, and I hate that dog on my parents or whatever, but it's the way it was. We didn't have warm clothing and I didn't have warm outdoor gear most of the time and I just remember all those days at recess just freezing, freezing, freezing and control, uh, uncontrollable shivering until I was just in pain and I just don't like to be cold. Well, so I don't like to be cold much either. But, but Mr. California over here doesn't have as many bad memories to look back on, I, su I suppose. <laughs> anyway. And wear shorts. Yeah, he's wearing shorts.
had a little pull off. Let Maddie out to run just a little bit, go to the bathroom. She was getting a little antsy. We stayed in the car for a little over an hour while we were at church. So just let her run. <laughs> That's your little twig. She found a twig. Have fun, Maddie. Have a little play time. Ah, that was fun. Chilly out there. Feels like somebody left the door open. It's cold. Oh, well, it's 32 degrees inside, 7 degrees outside. Not too bad. A little slushy in the water jug. Yeah. I'm not completely frozen, so. Uh, oh, yeah. Oil's frozen up a little bit. That one's full, so it's not. Oh yeah, it's a little icy. Not bad. 32 is not bad. All right. Got the fire cooking. Is it warm yet? It's warm right here. Right there. Right. Is that dragon breath or cold in here? I'm ready for some good decaf coffee. Hey, it flowed. It's flowing. It's gonna be ice water. Definitely see the ice cubes on top. <laughs> the ice right in there. That was Maddie's bowl. I had to put my foot in the in the ice to get her some water. But she got water. And she got dinner. And she's got her couch. Right? You're home. So cozy. It is 7 o'clock and it's 42 degrees. And the fireplace here is... 1300 degrees? Fahrenheit. The 700 is Celsius. Oh, yeah. It's quite toasty right by the stove. You still have your coat on. Yeah, it's still cold behind me. It's warm in front of me. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody, for joining us on this adventure today, this weekend, not today, this weekend. And uh, if you enjoy this stuff, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that jazz. See you next week. Next week. Next adventure. Next Sunday. Who knows what? It's pretty random around here what you're going to get. You never know. We never know, honestly. Well, we kind of...